Cartel who will take this. I think Shocks might be okay on this map. I think this map was played uh, played enough, but Stardom generally likes. You think this is a full vehicle map? Although we have seen uh, Pawn Rushes, I think. Uh, but that was like mm. so last year. We haven't seen this map in uh, like a meta pool at all. I think bots will be play well on this map just because um the max values are so low and the wind is good oh yeah yeah and so all you need is grunt <laughs> all you need are grunts ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. all you need are grunts <laughs> yep both uh, picking core both strong believers in the power of the grunt <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's open area, so actually it will be uh, not as, uh, you know, not like Glacier Pass with unknown terrain and unknown degans and yeah. like weird stuff happening. This will be a um, like, pretty plain map and verified, but, you know. Yeah, best probably, the, probably the best map out of the round. Can one of you take control, please? I just need to be BRB for like a couple of minutes. Uh, put on Reza. Oh. Put on me? Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, okay. Start him. BRB. With a couple wind and showing the bot lab. We have Echo. Yeah, and he just took off. <laughs> Uh, shocks of the solar first kind of surprises me. I hope they don't get the echo on the stream. No, I think they will, because I think he placed his. Uh, I don't hear myself though. Hmm. Oh, you think he should be good now? No. Yeah, yeah, it's good now. Pretty standard looking stuff so far. Shocks getting some units before constructor and stardom getting a constructor. Being uh, defensive, um, you know, I get some inspiration from Shocks. He's always being able to defend like the early rushes, and that makes me also think about the game. Well, so stardom is like looks like the completely opposite, getting like five cons before everything. Yeah, so this, uh, style clashes are really interesting. I think Shocks I mean, might be able to get some pressure. Yeah, Shocks is definitely going to have some pressure here and. He'll be able to, he should be able to expand easier behind that. Okay, starting not getting too greedy, or yeah. As if, okay, yeah, never mind, I was wrong. One grunt is still not enough. Has the radar now, though, so he'll be able to see what's coming, but at least one of those two constructors is probably going to die. One. That's one. Yeah. I mean, two constructors is pretty good. They can, first off, he waits, and then you can repair one another. You can just keep repairing them. So, yeah, that's what he does. I also love love uh, expanding with two constructors due to that reason, because you can delay uh, mm -hmm. with uh, repairing. Or you, or you can repair the grunts that come to help as well. Mm -hmm. True. And now Even if you're outnumbered. And actually gets, like, first uh, additional mechs on the field. So... Yeah. Shock's heading out with his own commander, leaving the two cons at the base. So yeah, starting pushing back, those are first three grunts. Try to get a little bit by then. Koch maybe start them off guard, but start them is on point. Mm -hmm. Gets one grunt. So Shocks currently enjoys all of the mech control. Almost gets to scout the start in his base. Nothing too surprising going on there now. Let's see whether Stardom decides to do maybe a little bit counterattack. Uh, yeah, we'll push the two scouting grunts up on the north. See what's what. I think the radar might miss them. Maybe. Yeah, Shox doesn't have a radar at the base. Mm hmm. 
Let's so see. two those two grunts might be able to uh, just get in basically for free. Might even run to the back of the base. You turned him With around. All LLD yeah. coverage. Okay. So Shock's going to send this group of okay. six or seven. He turned them around to, to all their groups, but now they're actually yeah. in the radar reach. Okay, so starting pushing back the south group, the north group. Mm. Not going to be able to make any progress into the base. He's He's kind of trying to rotate, you know, and take stars in his attention, but... Okay, that was a nice advantage against the North group. Shocks, uh, uh, no, Saddam manages to actually sneak uh, in. Yeah, yeah, there's no that. expansion there. <laughs> yeah. He might come from the back, though. It's unprotected. He might, yeah, but he doesn't know what's exactly there, right? So yeah. That position is that bad, but I think he should commit. Technically, you can also wait while the con is there and then surprise and kill the con. Also, would be a good effort. Mm -hmm. Again, pulls the two grunts off the position. Will go almost in the radar range. Yeah, uh, he must be using uh, an army selection oh, okay. key. That's all map. Yep. And shocks is, is going really to the vehicle lab soon. Because those two grunts uh, were able to extract so much value there. Yeah, I think this one from Shox is, uh, is a good idea. Front lab beagle. Yeah, he's stalling metal to build it. Where, yeah, yeah. Where does he, yeah, I want to just ask the same. Where, where he's gonna get the metal? He still needs like uh, mm, about, about 10, se 300. 10, seconds, ten seconds of production, at least. Okay, these two grunts get found out in the back. Does he want to... Stardom retreats him, so that lived in a harass another day. Uh, Shox's group on the north gets cleaned up. Seeing Solars here is a little bit more tricky. I would, I would pretty much gamble on Wind, I think. Yeah, Wind's been a little finicky this game so far, though, I think. Well, hit energy. I haven't just like paid that close fun. attention to it, but when you're a player, man, you notice the wind's not blowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a good habit. Okay, so the vehicle factory is done. Uh, he's pulled all his build power off the bot lab to expand. He's building just brutes. I sometimes find it useful to build pounders, um, especially when your opponent is bots, but it seems he is not No, well, I mean, uh, not here. Like, he's not getting pushed. There's no choke points. They're really slow. The bots could just yeah. run around here and, like, map this big. So you need... Uh, I think you can even argue for gators here over... But since he has energy, he can go brutes directly. Loses one in the raid on the east. Uh, start him getting pretty bold with these grunts in the center and his commander. What does start him see interesting? He sees that there's like LLT and some blobs there, but he hasn't, like, he doesn't know that there's a lab there. I think he knows that there's a vehicle lab there since he's got a <laughs> tank, in, a tank. The, in the back of his base. <laughs> Uh, where did this tank come from? <laughs> Maybe yeah, on their base. Okay, walking into the LT with his commander, probably not going to win the game that way, but... That's a lot of grunts here. I think he realizes... Uh, you think he's trying to force something? Like something big? He feels like he's been... 
Shox also doesn't have all that much, right? I mean, he has... Yeah, I mean, I think Shox has done good to, to deny Stardom territory, but he hasn't really been able to expand behind it. In fact, I think Stardom is ahead on expansion. Even taking some of this is like these two mexes in the south are really cheeky, you know? But you take what you can get. The the radar, Shox's radar doesn't even see the, the one mex. I don't think. I guess it's important to mix like a couple of scouts and leave them. There's a raid from Shock's north. Yeah, so the grunt raid is going to get in the back there and then... Oh, the tanks is going to just go around and kill. Yeah, the tanks are just like, ah, oh, you know, this is all pretty undefended. Grunt's gonna get cleaned up in the back, but not before these tanks are already isolated Stardom's commander. I mean, he could almost just... I don't know, the, the Grunt's coming back are gonna maybe be enough to save Stardom's commander from these tanks. Shock's Shock. kiting. These two constructors at the like, I know there's these cheeky constructors in the south. It's killing me. I'm not sure. I mean, I think like if Shox does go around the east side, which it looks like he's doing, can start him gather stuff together enough to defend. Probably not. Yeah, look. Uh, Stardom might lose resbots, okay. I mean, if Shox goes this direction, then yeah. But. Okay, here he gets surrounded. That was a bad, a bad turn. I don't think it will, like, it's gonna be pretty indecisive in the big scheme, maybe. He gets pushed back, and then the, the resbots clean up all the wrecks. It's not That's good. Especially Don't since he's behind expansion on the map now. Oh, and the twin guards. Okay, I think the constructors. Oh, Stardom doesn't have that much energy for twin guard fire. Okay, cleans up the cheeky constructors finally. But the army is already uh, trying to find something. The pounder is going to defend versus incoming threats. But, uh... Tanks come back to defend, but I mean, uh, Stardom is resurrecting some more tanks. I'm not sure how much shocks can keep pushing. These tanks are getting worn down. There's way more cheekier uh, construction wars in the West. <laughs> it's like trying to build all the. Yeah. Uh, building an LLT to kill the mechs over there. That is pretty funny. Ooh! That was a really juicy hit. I don't know if you saw. Uh, to the pounder. Stardom loses all of his uh, five, I think, press bots. Pretty uh -oh. big. Old. Yeah, that is big, actually. And the Shox is also doing the same building. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's to, pretty funny. The LLT fight. Stardom? Okay. Manages his calm well. I think he wants to get the, like a nice Deegan in if he feels like. Ooh, Stardom. Okay, Shock's also watching. Gets one. Yeah, he took uh, almost 50% damage on his commander for that, though. Yeah. I mean, he buys time for more resbots, I think. Resbots are. Uh, 
back in action. Stardom trying to get up that pounder and thanks on the sides. <laughs> if he can get those, there's two res bots there to resurrect too. Are you right? I mean, uh, shocks. I think the tanks still have a little bit more firepower, but it just seems like this is now going to snowball too hard. From stardom, yeah. Yeah, from the res bots. There's a lot of thugs, right? There yeah. are. I mean, there's enough thugs to push the tanks away, right? Yeah. And he's also ahead in eco metal and everyone metal. Shock's losing two more mexes to an LLT in the Constructor War. Yeah. And... So he gained a, a mex in that same war. <laughs> okay, start, I think... Um, going for this decisive action? Yeah, if... Yeah. If he... Yeah, so he calls the GG. I was going to say he's at least going to lose the lab, which is his only lab. Yeah, Stardom's resbound proficiency is pretty nice. Didn't lose only only once he lost. 